How's it going everybody? My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. Today I have another one day build video for you. This is going to be a very quick build. Uh, we're going to be recreating the Criminal Mischief VHS tape. It's a BMX uh, legendary video and so I figured it'd be fun to make it and it's going to be a really quick build. Uh, so I have all the little parts here to build up the little VHS case and then we're going to have to print out some cardstock with the actual box cover and we'll cut all that up and we'll put it all together and we'll figure out how to put some tape inside here to make it look like the real film. Um, but I figured it'd be a fun little build. If you guys enjoy this video, we're going to get right to it. It's going to be a fun, quick little build. And so here we go. All right, so I have all the parts here for the VHS. These were 3D printed out. So um, that's the only thing that's kind of long about this. This is about like a four hour print for all these parts. Um, so it wasn't extremely long. I've, de I've done 23 hour prints before and stuff like that. So fairly quick for um, a 3D print and a very simple design. So the first step with, for this would really just be to give this a nice primer. Uh, this primer on here right now is just a filler primer. Kind of fills up the cracks and stuff and I just have a little uh, shake rattle can of that that I put on and then I sanded and surfaced it. Pretty much we're just going to go through, give all these parts a quick little prime. I have pretty bad luck with these cans. They always like the clog so I like to make sure they're nice and shook up so nothing clogs and I don't waste an entire can of primer and have to throw it away. So yeah, just hit these with some quick primer. So the tape wheels have dried up a bit, so I'm just gonna hit them with a white primer. It'll have a very matte look, like uh, the real little wheels in a VHS tape have. So what I wanted to show you is just like, um, from being printed and it's kind of thin, you can see the tape is very like, that's like that, that corner's up like that. So it's not flat, it's not level. It's very twisted and torqued from being stuff, and this isn't even clicked in. There we go. Maybe that'll make a difference. Not really. Let's see, there's a tiny bit of play. So what I want to do, so we'll use this heat gun, and I'll put it at a certain temp, and I'll just try to like heat up the entire piece, and then I'll fiddle with it and play with it. So I'm just gonna warm it up. All right. So my heat gun is cooling in the background. So if you hear the noise, that's what it is. But as you can see. Very little play in it, so it's a little flatter now. A little more at like a normal VHS uh, level. So now what we'll do, we'll just paint this all red and the other top piece, and then we'll go on from there. Painted red, it's a gloss paint. It's gonna take a long time to dry, so we're gonna let that Cure and set real nice because I don't want to fiddle with it when it's not fully dry yet because I'll just peel off paint and fuck it up. So um, we'll wait till that's dry. Put together um, all the stuff I want to do for this little VHS build. I have the cover and I was able to find the sides of the box finally. Uh, it's, it took a long time. And I found this BMX magazine and this old Doritos bag and then a different uh, BMX video, old VHS. And I figured I'd make a nice little display base type thing. Uh, just as like a little, like kind of like a, a BMX room, like what would be on the floor if somebody rode BMX and this, you know, they had their VHSs and their old snacks and stuff on the ground. So that's what this build's turning into. I also will be doing this build as a giveaway. Um, I'm gonna give it away to somebody uh, through my Instagram by just commenting on the photo once I post these. I have the magazine, the two VHSs and the Doritos bag, that's all gonna be on the base together with this VHS over here. So we have all the parts here, and now all I have to do is pretty much assemble this uh, VHS together. I, so I'm gonna be using this electrical tape, and I think I'm just gonna wrap around this until I have like a pretty built up thing, and then I'm gonna slice off the top so it can still fit in there, and I'm gonna do that to both of them. Alright, so using the electrical tape, I got the, uh, the tape uh, wrapped around the little wheels uh, effectively. And so I'm just going to glue those in in a second, but first before I do that, I'm going to get a little bit of uh, some acrylic and just cover up these holes right here. And so we'll do that real quick and then we'll put all this together and the tape, the cassette tape will be glued together and ready to go. <laughs> So 
I have the VHS put together. It's all glued up. Legendary red tape. And I just got to add the stickers onto it. And I'll do that in a second. Uh, what I want to do is just cut this out um, and see if the VHS box that I made for it fits. Because lining it up, it looks like it's a little small. So I'm going to find out right now. And if I need to do any adjustments, I'm going to do that. And if I do go make some adjustments, I'll probably make this chip bag just a little bit smaller. It seems a little big, even though I compared the sizes um, on these things. But All right, so update here. I have the box made and the VHS in there. It's, uh, it's stuck in there. I want it to, be able to it to be able to slide in and out. So all that extra detail in there. Is this lost unless someone rips it apart? So yeah, this is uh, I'm just gonna leave it inside because it's kind of stuck, and we're just gonna live with it as a solid piece of an object. But that's it. That's the little. Let me see if I can get a better, more lit up thing for you. That's the little criminal mischief VHS tape. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and like cut up the rest of the stuff and get that ready. I have the all the items ready so I have the dig BMX magazine with nothing in it but you won't see that once it's on the base obviously we have the two VHS tapes uh, one empty supposed to be in the player already being watched then we got the legendary red tape in there and then we have a bag of Doritos and I'm gonna make some fake chips I think pouring out onto the little base so with all those items over there, uh, we can put, start putting together the vase. Let me get these extras. A lot of extra printouts here, um, mess ups, resizing, all that. So I spray painted some triangular shapes to represent Doritos. Uh, so I'll be adding those. So fill out the bag a little bit and then have a bunch spill out onto the floor of the base. So we have a cool little Somewhat realistic uh, little base scene. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick and then let those dry. So the base is getting laser cut right now. Uh, I'm doing two pieces, glue them together, make the base thick and nice and supportive and give it a little bit of weight. And then we have everything right over here waiting to be added to that base. Um, so yeah, once that base is out and I've sanded and glued it together, we can start working toward the next parts. So I have this felt here that I want to use for like the rug that all this is sitting on for the room. And I also want to use it for the underside of the base. This is a nice padded base. So I'm going to be laser cutting out the five and a half squares, inch squares that I have for the bases. And then one of these I'm going to be painting in a different color, something a little more not so vibrant green, a little more earth tone green. Or Pretty much got the base all laid out, put some chips pouring out of the bag, found the positioning I wanted for everything. Maybe I'll add like a few more chips or something and then all I gotta do is paint up the side real nice and then take this piece of felt and put it on the bottom so it's got a nice little base. But yeah, that's that build. It's pretty much done so I'll show you some nice high quality detail shots of it and we'll go from there. All right, everybody, thank you for making it to the end of the one day build video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And just a reminder, if you'd like to enter the win, this piece right here, all you have to do is go to my Instagram at DTM underscore design, like the photo and tag two friends. It'll be the photo with this on a white background. And once you do that, you're entered into win. Uh, the entries will open for a week. And once it's closed, I'll announce the winner. So good luck to everyone trying to win it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day.